Good morning. Good morning, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm trying my microphone today to see if it works. Last time it didn't work, but I think I had the wrong end plugged in. So let me know if you can hear me. Hey, Misty. Oh, you can hear me? Okay, good, yay! I had it plugged into the wrong one then last time. So good, good. How are you all? So I've had so many people, I guess I don't have to yell because I have my microphone on. Um, I've had so many people that are like, where are your cooking videos? <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do some more. Today I'm making Cherry cola, so I'm gonna use um, cheer wine to make this pork barbecue. And I've got, let me get my barbecue out. I should have doubled this. So, this is some of our farm raised pork here. So I'm just using a Boston butt and I'm gonna marinate it, let it sit in the seasonings for a little bit. And this will be even better sitting overnight. So this is my, so I have this roll. It's dinner by 10, of course I'm a little bit later today. But I try, since I stay at home, I try to do it by 10 a.m. When I used to work full time out of the house, I would do it by the night before, know what I have uh, for dinner that next night. So that way, hold on just a second. That way I know like what I've got to pick up and get and all that kind of stuff. And then this is prepped and ready to go. Usually when I don't do this, I get lost. My day gets away from me and all right, come on, where's... So I always try to have it at least planned out and anything prepped that I can prep by around 10 a.m. This I'm actually going to put in the crock pot. Sorry, I'm trying to get this shared. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bowl and I'm going to make the seasoning for the pork barbecue and then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm probably not going to start it on the crock pot until about maybe noon or so. So this will be able to marinate in those spices for a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, make up the sauce and then I'm gonna make the pickled red onions. So the red onions, I'll put them in the refrigerator so they're ready to go so you'll have pork barbecue with the red onions on some good crusty hamburger buns with some potato chips tonight, yum. I'm so excited about that. Okay, so I'm going to use about a tablespoon of salt tablespoon of chili powder, and I'm just kind of eyeballing it because I'm going to rub the meat with it, and then black pepper, we need about a quarter of a teaspoon, is that a quarter? And I, No, it's three quarters. I'm going to put this recipe up for you on the blog, it's rockfishfarm.com. And then garlic powder, I'm doing one and a half teaspoons. And ground coriander, a half a teaspoon. Mm, that smells so good. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. Maybe. We need to take this lid off. So 
So this recipe calls for it to be cooked in a cast iron Dutch oven, but we've got somewhere to go this afternoon, so I'm not gonna have it. It takes like two and a half hours, so I'm gonna improvise and we're just gonna send it to the crock pot. It's gonna be good and then it'll be ready when we get home. So that's it for this. I'm going to mix it. So you can see it's just a bunch of spices in there. Hey everyone, how are ya? Looks pretty, it smells really good. That chili powder makes it smell so good. So I'm just going to dump it all over the pork. I'm gonna save a little bit for the underside, but I'm gonna kind of rub it and press it into the meat. And then flip it and dump the rest on this side. All right, let me wash my hands. Hey Shannon. Hey everyone, how are you? Okay, this I'm gonna put in the refrigerator, except I think I need to make room, so for right now I'm just gonna set it over there. All right, we're done with that. Next step, we're going to do the pickled red onion. So I'm going to get out a cutting board. And I'm putting mine into, I think I'm gonna be able to fit it into a mason jar. So you can put it in a container and then this will go in the refrigerator. It can stay in there up to five days. Alright, so we're going to take red onions and we're going to slice them. I'm going to do them in small slices. So the recipe for this calls for about two cups. I think I'm gonna do them. I'm gonna cut the onion in half and then, so in quarters basically, and then I'm gonna come across and slice. The recipe calls for two cups of red onions. I'm gonna do just probably one cup or possibly just this one onion, whatever that comes to. Well, maybe not, let's just do half. I think that'll be plenty. So about a cup. So I've just got my jar full of the red onions and then we need to go to the stove. Of course I've got stuff on the stove. Come over here with me. All right, we need to boil some stuff. So I'm gonna take a big pot and you're gonna do a cup of water. Going. 
going on high. I want that to boil. It shouldn't take long because it's not a bunch of stuff. All right, we're going to do a one and a half tablespoons of sugar. So I'm just going to eyeball it. If you cup your hand and you fill the cup, that's about a tablespoon. All right, and then half a tablespoon, something like that. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. put the lid on these onions and then just store them in the refrigerator because what you want to do is get this going, get it boiling. Let me find thing in here. So you're going to get it boiling and you're going to let it cook for about a minute. I need a smaller pot. like a simple brine yeah pretty much yep just like a water and that apple cider vinegar salt and sugar and that's it and then you what you'll do is you'll you want this to boil let it cook for um, about a minute and then you're gonna just turn off the heat and let it cool completely so you want to pour it into here when it's cooled off and then we can just put this right into the refrigerator and let it sit it'll sit up to five days um, but we're gonna use it tonight so it should be good I'll have to show a picture of it for you all later um, but that'll be good I love pickled red onions on like so much stuff um, so that's easy this is it's almost boiling so you just want that sugar and salt to just kind of dissolve I need a smaller pot that needs to be next on my list okay the next thing I'm gonna do is I don't want to leave this, so I'm going to just wait just one minute for that to, to heat up. But I'm going to make the, the sauce for the barbecue, and that's going to be with the cheer wine and ketchup and uh, some other good stuff. So that way, when I go to put this in the crock pot, so let me see. So this calls for the Dutch oven, and you want to cook it kind of without the sauce. So what I'm going to plan on doing with my crock pot is to put the meat in the crock pot. So that's sitting there till, for like two hours. And then I'm gonna put that in the crock pot and heat it all the way through. So when the pork is done, you should be able to take two forks and easily shred it. So if it's too tough to shred, the meat is not done yet. And then when it gets close, probably, um, if you are gonna do this in a Dutch oven and do it for about two and a half hours or so in the oven on, let me see what this calls for, 450. Um, so you're going to add the sauce to it a little bit later. And so that's kind of what I'm going to do, but because I'm using a slow cooker, I will probably add it around, if I start around 12, I'll probably add the sauce around three. And that way it can cook down in the sauce and everything. If you're going to make it in the Dutch oven, you put the sauce recipe on the, and I will kind of type it up as both ways. You're going to put the sauce, so this is boiling. You're going to put the, put the sauce on the stove top. See why the crock pot is so much easier? Because then you just mix all the ingredients together and throw it in the crock pot and it does everything for you. So, okay, I'm going to let that sit and cool. I'm going to move you back over here and we'll make the sauce up. I'm just going to put it into a container and then put it into the refrigerator until about, you know, 3 o'clock. And, um, and then I'll add it onto the... Pork. All right, let me get a container out. And I like a lot of sauce. So I'm gonna make the whole batch even though I'm only cooking half of this. So that way that I have the sauce. All right, let's see what we got in here. 
We're going to do 12 ounce, well, 24 ounces of cherry cola. So I have cheer wine. So I'll probably do, let's see, four cups. No, let's do three, three cups. Three cups of cheer wine. Look, I'm from Maryland and I never knew what cheer wine was. So it's kind of, kind of like Dr. Pepper, but has a little bit more cherry. I mean, you could use like cherry flavored Coke. All right, so we got three cups of the cheer wine. And then we're going to do a half a cup of ketchup. And like I said, I'm just going to mix it in here so that way I can pour it right into the pork later. It's my rule, so I get dinner done, dinner by 10. Everything's prepped and ready if I can, or 10 p.m. the night before. That way I don't have to worry about it later because... Today we're going to gymnastics and it's like we're gonna get home. So this is a quarter cup of brown sugar, maybe a little bit more. And dinner time is crazy. The horses wanna eat, the dogs wanna eat, everybody's hungry and tired. It's time to do homework. So now dinner would just be ready. So we're gonna do three tablespoons of Worcestershire. So that was probably one. Let me open up my other one here. Hey Shaylin, dinner by 10 is one of the most helpful tips I've ever used. Yeah, I heard you say it a while back. Gosh, I, I need to not turn my phone sideways because it won't let me read all of your all's comments. Oh yes it will, now it works. Well, back and have been following that idea for some time now. Yay, good, it really does make a difference in how smoothly the day goes. I know, doesn't it? Especially when you have young kids and everything is so busy and to, to me, like by dinner time, I'm so tired. The last thing I want to do is pull together a dinner. But at least like if you have an idea, you know, I can run out. Like I still need to go get some hamburger buns if I'm not going to make them. I feel like I'm not going to make them today. I want some good crusty hamburger buns for these things. And so I'm going to just, when I go out and run my errands, I know that I need to get that and then it's ready for dinner. All right, Dijon mustard, two tablespoons. Yeah, and if you work, you just plan out the night before. That way, you know, even if you need to stop by the store on your lunch break, then you have all of your stuff when you get home. But if you can prep, like what I will do, like everything's prepped, so all I gotta do is go throw it together now. And, um, but like if you chop all of your vegetables, and then if you, um, if you kind of plan out your whole week, I think it's a lot easier. I have some chicken recipes that I'm getting ready to make. I think there's four different ones, and I'm actually going to make them all up at once and stick them in the freezer. So on the days where I don't have a lot of time to make anything, I can just pull it out of the freezer, and it's already in a marinade. So the good thing is you make up the marinade, and you pour it in the chicken, and put it in a freezer bag, and you lay it flat in your freezer. And then when you pull it out, as it thaws during the day, it's marinating in that marinade. So then all you gotta come up with is, is some quick sides. And usually like a salad with chicken and like a, I do like canned lima beans or my girls love peas, so we do peas. So I'm gonna do a freezer prep with some chicken recipes probably later this week. I'm thinking maybe tomorrow. I'll have Kaylin home with me, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So this has, so this will have the, uh, the sugar that's in the cheer wine. I think cheer wine is known as the most sugary soda. I feel like I probably shouldn't tell you how much sugar is in 12 ounces. Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's a lot, a lot. So, um, but anyways, and then there's a little bit of the brown sugar. That's gonna make it such a sweet barbecue sauce. And see, it's a homemade barbecue sauce. All right, so we are gonna put that. So at 
because of that sugar, as it cooks down, like it looks really liquidy now, as it cooks down in the crock pot, it's gonna thicken because of that cheer wine, the sugar in the cheer wine, and then the, um, the sugar in the brown sugar. It'll thicken and become like a really good barbecue thick sauce. All right, gotta find a lid for this. And then that's it, I'm done. Dinner is prepped and ready to go. I think I'm gonna do um, just easy tonight, and I think I bought some like crunchy, some Uts, um, the hand cooked or whatever it's called, kettle cooked chips. So it'll be an easy sandwich night when we get home. Might put a salad with it for Robert and I. Um, so, okay, so this is going in here. I'm gonna wrap the pork with a piece of foil. And then that'll sit in the, I have a lot of stuff here. That's the pork. So for those of you that didn't see it, there's the pork. We rubbed it down with the seasonings. And you can put this overnight. Like, you know, if you're doing by 10 p.m. at night, then put all of this together tonight because it's gonna be even better to sit there overnight. And then tomorrow morning or whenever, you get up and you put it in your crock pot on low. I have one of those really hot crock pots, so I can never start mine at, um, um, you know, like before I would have to leave for work in the morning. So if that's you, make sure you get a good crock pot. My mom's got a really good one. It's got like, um, like a timer on it to where it won't even start till like 10 a.m. if she doesn't want it to. And that way, by the time you get home, because... I'm not putting the sauce on right away just because my crock pot gets so hot. But if you're working, go ahead and pour it on. It's not gonna hurt it. If you have a timer, set the timer for a little bit later, like maybe 10 a.m. Um, or you can, or like if you can come home for your lunch break and put this on, or if you get home early. I mean, it just kind of depends on you and your schedule. The other thing that you could do is if you do have a really hot crock pot, if it comes down to it, take this sauce, Boil it on the stove. Let's see what it calls for, for about 20 minutes. So it'll take about 20 minutes. That way your sauce is ready. So you can just cook your pork in your crock pot. Then when you get home, the first thing you wanna do, go take some of that barbecue sauce and go pour it into your crock pot with that pork and shred that pork and let it cook and warm up on the pork. And then maybe you won't eat dinner until you know six or 6.30. Then that sauce is warmed up for you or you can pour it back on the stove and just pour it over top of that. So there's lots of things that you can do to make it work for your schedule and your lifestyle and what you've got going on. So it's such an easy recipe too. All right, we're gonna put all this into the refrigerator and then my pickled onions, let's just give this a stir and see. I think I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit longer. It's still pretty warm, it's still got steam coming off of it. So then I'll just pour that into my pickled red onions and put that in the refrigerator for tonight. And then you put that on top of the barbecue. Yup, I'm so excited. I can't wait for this recipe. I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time. The recipe actually calls for pitted cherries in the sauce also. I skipped that. My girls will have a cow if that's in there. Um, my husband will probably have a cow if that's in there. So um, so we're just, we're just skipping that. And we're gonna go for the cherry cola. If you, I could use, you know, I should have brought a, a jar of cherry cherries because then I could have put a little bit of the cherry juice in there to make that a little bit better. So next time I make this, I may do this. This is going to be a good recipe, I could tell. It's really good. So I'm going to go and I'm going to type this up for you and it's going to go on the blog at rockfishfarm.com and then I'll add some photos to it later as I take some pictures and get it all cooked down and everything. I hope that you all have a great Monday and I will see you all soon. Bye.